What I'm doing today, I want to show, make a video to show something I made to replace my shore power cord for when I'm out on the lake at, or when the boat's at home and I don't have a, a 30 amp plug to plug into when the boat's at home or out on the lake. So I tried to describe to someone on a, on a uh, forum how to make this cord. It's real simple. I just had a hard time explaining it. So I'm gonna make a video to show you. I went and bought a 30 amp female plug at Lowe's. The part number is L530C. Uh, this thing was, this, this piece right here was $30 at Lowe's. And I bought a, I think this is a 15 amp drop cord. So you're not gonna be able to run a uh, air conditioner if you've got one. It's gonna, it'll run a refrigerator, coffee pot, uh, your power outlets to run a television or a charge cell phones, computers, that kind of stuff. Uh, like I said, you're not gonna wanna try to run an air conditioner off of this. You could if you bought a bigger, the drop cord. This plug will carry the load, this, this drop cord's too small. But uh, it, it's real simple. It just plugs in to your shore power. When the boat's at home, no problem. Plug right into here. Drop cord's running into the house. You can uh, run your battery chargers. If you need to do some cleaning on the boat or you want to sit in the boat and listen to the stereo or watch TV like I do sometimes. Uh, gotta get you some power for the boat. But no shore power, no problem. This thing, when we're out on the lake, I'll take my generator. I got a small Honda generator right there that stays in the engine bay. When we're sitting out on the lake uh, or spending the night on the lake, we'll set that on the swim platform or the swim deck and uh, run the generator and plug in and then run it out to the shore power. If you got an inverter in your boat that has worked the same way, you, instead of plugging into a generator, you can plug this into an inverter. And if your inverter is big enough, you'd be able to run a coffee pot or television or whatever you want to run but I don't think an inverter is going to run a uh, air conditioner either I've got one but a little big time doesn't have an air conditioner when you you're going to take your drop cord and you're going to cut the end off I've already done this I've already made this thing so I'm having to uh, if I'd have videoed it when I was making it it would have been better but I've already made it so I'm gonna have to go back you take your drop cord and you cut the opposite end not this end right here but the opposite end you cut it off Slice the wires back, and what you're going to get, this is what you're going to have on the inside of this drop cord. You're going to have three wires. There's a white one, a black one, and a green one. And this is the plug. The 30-amp the plug you buy from Lowe's, is going to, it's going to be three pieces. This is the three pieces you're going to have from Lowe's. All right. Okay, what you're going to do, you're going to take your drop cord and you're going to cut the end off of it. Not the end that plugs into the wall, but the other end, the female end. You're going to cut that end off and splice the green part back and it's going to expose three wires, a white one, a black one, and a green one. Then your plug that you buy from Lowe's, the, uh, the 30 amp twist and pull plug, 30 amp female plug, this is it's going to be three pieces. When you take it out of the package, you're going to have three pieces. The rubber cap, then the hard plastic part, I don't know what they call it, and then the inside part will be white. The first thing you do when you cut the end off your plug, off your drop cord, you're going to slide this rubber cap on first. The inside of it is going to be facing towards the end of the drop cord that you cut off. Then you're going to slide this piece on the hollow part is going to be facing the end of the drop cord that you cut off. So th those pieces are going to be down here and then forget them. They're out of the way. And then you're going to be working on this. You got the white, the green, the black. All right. On this plug, they're labeled. You got W, and this one here isn't labeled. And then this, end, this one here has a G. You're going to put the green to the G. And then you'll take the screwdriver and you'll tighten it down when you get it. When you splice the insulation off of this green wire, you're going to see the copper. 
and you're gonna put it inside here and then this screw will tighten down on the copper wire on the G. The green goes to G, the white goes to W. Do it the same way, you tighten this down and it'll hold it in there. Make sure you get it good and tight or it'll come out. And the black goes to the one that's not labeled. So that gets that in there, it's tight. When you get it on there, when you get it, you get it lined up and to where it'll fit down in there, you're gonna take, tighten these down even, uh, a little at a time. Don't tighten one all the way and then go to the next one. You tighten them evenly. That way if it gets in there going sideways in a bind, you're not gonna tear anything up or strip the threads. You don't have to tighten this real tight. This, this part, you don't. Okay, so that got that on there. Then you tighten this down. What this does, it, it just locks this locks the cord in there where you can't pull too hard and pull your wires out of the inside of this. It's like a lock, locking system. It just do this the same way a little on each side, work back and forth. Don't tighten one side all the way down. And now what you're gonna do, probably figuring it out already. You don't already know how to do this. Slide this rubber cap up and all that does is seals it. Pop it on like that. Now, this end is ready to plug into your boat for your shore power. And then you can use this end to plug into a drop cord that runs into your house, or you can use it on a generator for your, on the, when you're out on the lake, or you can use it on an inverter when you're out on the lake, or whatever you want to plug it into. That way you're getting your power through your shore power, you're using your breakers, and you don't have a cord running through your boat. So it'll, it'll all be coming through the shore power. So there you have it. A little big time is running off the generator, off the drop cord, straight up to the shore power plug. Refrigerator's on, television works, everything works, plug-ins. And you could have your generator sitting on the back of the boat on the swim platform or wherever you want it. Or you could have the same cord plugged into a drop cord running into the house. That way you can operate everything inside the boat when your boat's at home if you don't have a 30 amp plug on your house, which most people don't. I know I don't, but that's it.